Oh, they're gonna set up. Ryan! Did I score that? Yes, you did! Fuck! <laughs> Don't jump at the goalkeeper! Like, what are you I doing? wanted to hit the ball off to the side! Fuck me! Yes, I might be the world's worst Lucio Ball player. That guy with a hat trick which consists of two own goals and having his team lose 3-2. to two. But however bad I am, I still don't have to stoop to the level of some of these douche canoes who are permabanned from Overwatch after being caught with some hacks. Considering all of the hackers exposed and boosting bitches videos I've done on my channel, I'm glad that Blizzard is ruling with an iron fist about cheaters. None of this amnesty bullshit. But I guess not everyone can accept themselves being shite like I can. Where'd it go? Where did it- dude, where the fuck is the- It's impossible to track this fucking ball. Well, it's Schlantz 2, everybody else 0. I'm just gonna flash some forum posts on the screen because it's fucking hysterical to read the tears of the people that are ruining the game for everyone else. Blizzard, you're really gonna punish people who paid you money for this game? Well, yes, if you're ruining the experience of other people that are playing legit who also paid money for this game, then sure. Do they actually expect me to buy another copy? Fucking Jew bastards. Really shows how shady these business practices have become. Yes, you should buy another copy. Or better yet, ask your mom for a credit card again, you whiny anti-Semitic little fuck. I deserve another chance if I spent extra to buy the pre-order edition. It's 2016, Blizzard. Cheating happens. A slap on the wrist is always better than lynching the person. It's a video game for fuck's sake. You're not being killed? It's like in real life, you decided to break the rules, so you get the punishment you deserve no matter what your standing in society is. I'm not sure your name's Hillary Clinton. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to form a union against Blizzard and sue them somehow. How can they detect these cheats unless they're using some Trojan, which is illegal? Patriot Act, motherfucker! Yeah, I could see you and your boxers behind that webcam too. Of course they could figure out if you're using an aimbot or a wall hack. They coded both of these things into the base game, you dumb shit. You know, Soldier 76 and Widowmaker? And yes, you could totally sue a company even though you violated the terms of service and the end user license agreement for which you're authorized to use their product. Call up any lawyer right now and see if they don't A, hang up on you or B, laugh in your face. We could DM Anonymous on Twitter and ask them to hack Blizzard's servers and see how they're spying on us. What Blizzard is doing is illegal. How do they even know that we are using Triggerbot, which isn't even a hack? <laughs> so let me get this straight. You want to illegally breach into a firewall to try and see if what someone is doing to you is illegal? I can't even wrap my mind around this one. Let's steal the stolen goods so we can press charges on the people that stole it the first time. A Triggerbot is a hack. It's a piece of code that all alters the way game plays. That by very definition is a hack. No ban yet. Edit. Raffle. The email was in my spam folder. Fuuuuck! Believe me buddy, I know how you feel. No! 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 <laughs> you see why you don't leave the goal? Yes! No! How did that not go in? Because Are you fucking it. kidding me? I tried it once and I'm on a fucking semi-pro team. GG, time to disappear. Unfortunately, you're not the only semi-pro that was banned by Blizzard. Here's another fuck trumpet that was banned by Blizzard while on livestream where he's clearly using an aimbot. I mean, dude, you're using Widowmaker and Soldier 76, both of whom have a built-in wall hack and aimbot ability. What a fucking twat waffle. However, with Lucio Ball making his debut this week for the Olympic Games, this brings about an interesting dichotomy here. This new game mode is a spin on Rocket League, which is a casual game, but using Overwatch characters clearly in a way that the game isn't designed as a competitive class-based FPS game. This is a game mode that casual players can have fun with, which is something that is clearly lacking given the propensity of the fan base to want to cheat in the game because they're clearly not good enough for a competitive game. I mean, look at how much fun I'm having in this game mode in spite of how bad I am at it. Yes! Swan scores! On the right goal this time! Yes! 
There's an easy solution to this problem, mod tools for Overwatch. This would allow those people that want to do something as small as changing the colors on the screen to pretty shit, or as big of an undertaking as something like Lucio Ball, they could do it with mod tools. Could you imagine the cool shit that would come out of this? Reinhardt races when unlimited charge, Widowmaker obstacle courses with those Spider-Man-like harpoon hooks, Roadhog's fishing extravaganza with his hook shot, the list is endless. What kind of game mode would you want to see with mod tools? This could open up a whole new world! I mean a whole new revenue stream for Blizzard. You can rent out custom servers for people to have their modded games played on and thus not rip us off with a time limited, not purchasable by in-game currency loot. You can even promote the top playing mod games to a weekly brawl in order to feature someone else's awesome ideas. I mean, if they made Gibraltar from Overwatch and Team Fortress 2, which is basically the grandfather of this game, then you know that mod tools can promote longevity and increase the player base to include more casual players. However, I don't think Blizzard will do this because I know they're very protective of their IPs. I mean, they issued DMCA takedown notices to porn websites that had some fan-created Overwatch porn because they were using assets. And of course, giving out mod tools means you're basically giving away your assets. I don't think they want a Naked and Afraid spinoff of Overwatch that pits Tracer and Genji in a jungle to try and survive. I mean, hell, they're telling people not to do the glitch that allows people to play characters other than Lucio in the spinoff mode, which is a strange response given how Blizzard has reacted to the other cheaters going on but I think that's because it's a glitch that some people don't actually know how to recreate. Anyway, so you guys like Blizzard's stance on cheaters? What about mod tools? Would you like to find some different custom games on Overwatch? Let me know in the comments section. I've been the Schwantz 27 out like A-Rod on Saturday. Or maybe not. Until next time. And I got the beat. Drop it there. <laughs> oh! Schwantz scores! Yes! Let's break it down! This is amazing. <laughs> Rip! Return to sender, motherfucker!